master a Yoba, opens with two, well, one builder, opens with two model. He orders one builder, so he has two at the beginning, goes for two stealth suits, jetpacks, barracks, and generator. I have absolutely no idea how to play a tower mirror. No idea what units the player should go for. Goes for Tower Commander. Different opening, okay. So we can see which opening's best in this game. Master Yoba opens with Tower Commander and Generator. Mahalaj opens with Fire Warriors and Vespids without a generator. The target is ours. Mahalaj also opens with three stealth suits. We only have two from Master Yoba. Master Yuba now adds these uh, Vespids. The target is ours. Stealth suits ready and willing. I'm not sure which build Stealth order would be willing. considered the correct one. I assume Mihalaj is. Mihalaj has more experience with Stealth random v random, so he has probably played this matchup more ours. often than uh, Master Yuba has. Mahalaj has been playing a random race in tournaments for some time. For a few years now. Well, a good thing for Master Yuba, he's already managed to kill a stealth suit. Might lose his generator though. One stealth suit, one uh, Vespid down. Needs to be careful with the Vespids because he doesn't have a generator. Each Vespid costs 10 power to uh, reinforce. That's quite expensive on power, especially for the early game. I think um, Mahalaj could have killed the, Ves the stealth suit here. I think he must have misclicked. Might even be able to finish this off in range. Oh, lots of Vespids going down now. Can't reinforce them anymore, it's run out of power. Tau Commander should be able to beat the Vespids in melee. Yeah, this is a fail. Still no generator from the Harledge. Nice jump with the Vespids, tie up the Fire Warriors. So the stealth suit can decap the point. Nice job. The Kandra will crush them. Maha Prosper, Master Yoba manages to uh, kill the stealth suit as well. Good job. We have the second Fire Warrior team out. These two Fire Warriors should be able to deal with the Vespids now. Instead, Mahalaj focuses the uh, Tower Commander for some time. Master Yuba engages the Fire Warriors in melee. Yep, yeah, it's a good thing to do. Tie them up so they can't shoot the Vespids. Only one Vespid left. Mahalaj quits. Yeah, so it seems starting without a uh, generator is a bad idea if you're going to go for Vespids. Nice work. Quick victory for Master Yuba. An unexpected result. I expected uh, Mahalaj to have more experience in that matchup. Mahalaj opens a game without a password. You may have to rehost. The problem now is that Mahalich will have to play two rounds of IG versus Tau. It looks like Mahalich is choosing to play on Shrine of Exilion. can be hard if Tau knows what he's doing. 
Sal can win by taking hold on this map. You just must fire warriors in tier 1. By the time IG has tier 2.5, you've won by taking hold. But of course the problem is if uh, IG does manage to decap the point, which is quite unlikely, if you have three squads of fire warriors in here, um, then Tau will be out teched. Let's see how it goes. Mahalaj might also uh, rush Tau. can work. Master Uber opens with Fire Warrior Team and Tau Commander, no Vespids. Mahalaj opens with um, Command Squad, three Guardsmen, two Tech Priests. Interesting position for the Generator. You usually just place it right next to the Infantry Command. If Vespids jump in, you can just get inside of the Infantry Command and shoot the Vespids. Priest has been added to the command squad. Standing ready. Reporting for duty, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Objective Both players just taking their points for now. Spirit for our safe arrival. Objective secured. What now? Are you ready to point us at our targets? Stealth suits ready and willing. The target is ours. I thought uh, Master Uber might have gone for the decap here. It looks like he wasn't successful. Maybe he didn't try. We have the Fire Warriors as well waiting on this side. I think Master Uber expected to be rushed. Nice uh, capture of the point here. Denies uh, Mahalaj from taking this point for some time. We already have two LPTs from um, Master Yuba. Case for the second Fire Warriors now. Mahalaj going quite passively. Goes for two um, Commissars. Nice catch of the Tech Priest. Finished off by the Snapshot. Ensures loyalty. Where do you need me? Where is his will needed? Looks like my college will engage now. Sir, yes, sir. Where Come is his will now. needed? Where is his will We have split needed? focus from Master Yuba's units. Where I think he could have killed this squad. Needed? Well, he still Where manages to. Okay, good. Fire warrior team should now shoot the commissar. Commissar should be melee in the fire warriors. Okay, Mahalaj manages to push Master Yuba back. This squad of fire warriors may go down. Only three members left. No, this squad will survive. The problem now is we have lots of LPTs and three fire warrior teams. And only two squads of guardsmen. 
this Commissar will go down soon, it's being focused by the LP2. Don't know where the Tau Commander's going, should be shooting this squad of Guardsmen. We have uh, Mahali trying to place a turret here. This will fail though. Commissar goes down, the squad of Guardsmen should be killed. Master Yoba doesn't focus, okay goes down. So that's two dead squads of Guardsmen. Now the command squad will be killed. Nice. Yeah, so Mahalaj quits. He lost too much. So we have two victories in a row now from Master Yuba. The score's now 2 1. Mahalaj started with a one point lead. So now. <laughs> Master Yuba only needs one more victory to win the best of five. In the third game, Tau vs Imperial Guard again will be played on Emerald... Okay, I thought they were playing on Emerald River for a moment. I don't believe moon bases in the map pool. Okay, they'll find outer reaches. One of the better maps for IG in this matchup, I think. You just need to outmass Tower here. Try deal as much damage on tier one as possible. Hopefully this won't be as bad as trying to have Exilion. So we have a different opening from Master Yuba this time. Starts with the Tau Commander from the barracks. Last time he went for the Fire Warriors first. And we also only have two Stealth Suits. Master Yuba goes for Vespids this time. Yeah, good choice on this map. Stealth suits ready and willing. The target Reporting is for duty, ours. sir! Interesting position for the generator right, again. Would it not be better war. here? Or here? If it was placed in either of these two positions, it'd be under the cover of the um, infantry command and the listening post. I hold the secrets. We also have an interesting cap order from Mahalaj. Looks like he'll try to take this point with the guardsman sure, squad, yes, and it looks sure. like he'll place the turret. Yeah. This turret will reach both of these uh, points. We'll deny the stealth suit from taking this one, and we'll deny the stealth suit from decapping this point. But the problem with doing um, this is you have problems with the Vespids back at home. Not enough army back here to deal with them. The Vespids can continuously jump between these three points. Master Yuba sees the turret now, may even try to destroy it with the best bits, it's possible. We're under fire! Will only take me a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Tech priest gets insta killed by the Tau Commander. The turret gets cancelled. Mahalaj's build is failed. What would you have me 
At least this point wasn't decapped. Now with the command squad's out of position, the Vespids can easily deal with this, this guardsman squad. We have the first commissar now, on the third minute. We already have an LP2 here from Master. Let's focus in the priest. I don't know, focusing the priests can be good because it uh, removes some of the mobility from the command squad, but I think focusing the psycho could be a good idea as well. Get rid of uh, IG's only detection uh, on tier 1. Well, this LP2 went down without just killing anything, so I don't think the LP2 paid up here. So that's good, it's good for Mahalaj. Mahalaj tries to place a turret here. Another good thing is Tau Commanders blow half HP. Here the Vespids can't fight two squads of Guardsmen. I don't know why the Command Squad wasn't uh, tying up the Fire Warriors there. General will go down. No. Okay, yeah, the general goes down. Finished off by the Tau Commander. Turret gets cancelled again by the Vespids. Master Uber manages to save the squad. But it isn't being controlled. Okay, he notices. Good. This might be a dead command squad. Yeah, the priest gets snapshotted. The tower commander could probably kill the psycho and melee, to be honest. It's a bit risky, though. The tower commander's only got a quarter of his HP. Tower commander might die here if he doesn't have a, a jump. Guardsmen change focus to the Vespids. Mahalaj cancels his turret. We've been overrun. The Guardsmen here losing to the Fire Warriors. Guardsmen without morale will lose in melee too to the Fire Warriors. And this squad will be tied up by the Vespids. Mahalaj is also trying to place mines here. Good option. If the mines are finished, it makes it more difficult for the Vespids to destroy the turret. Mahalaj leaves the uh, turret, finishes the mines they were leased, Master Yuba adds the crew. Problem for Mahalaj really is the economy, only plus 68 on requisition, very bad. Master Yuba has plus 104. Turret gets cancelled again by the best bids. They know that the minefield's here, so they simply need to destroy the turret from the other side. This squad of guardsmen here only has two members. Comets are not being controlled. This squad of guardsmen ran into a snare trap. Looks like the Tau Commander was killed. I missed that. I'm not sure where he died. Master Yuba retakes this point. He's still got both of his stealth suits alive. We'll soon hold all of the critical locations. Fire Warriors not... In fact, the Fire Warriors are beating... Well, he goes down. It looked like for a moment that the Fire Warriors were beating the Commissar. Fire Warriors should finish off the minefield. Nice, and then the Fire Warriors need to move into this position, try kill some guardsmen. Very low HP on this squad should be finished off by the Fire Warriors. Yeah. Squad of Fire Warriors down, uh, guardsmen down. Command squad still up. 
finally Mahalaj finishes a turret. He's been trying to place a turret now for, <laughs> for six minutes at least. Now the command squad wants to destroy this LP2. Vespid go on counter harass. We'll destroy this uh, listening post. There's nothing inside of here. All of Mahalaj's uh, tech priests are on this side. LP2 should be focusing the builders. Okay, it's been changed. It was shooting at the turret a moment ago. Fire warriors not being controlled. A bit of a fail. Master Yub should have cut them back here. Second turret is up. Mahalaj will lose this point. Vespid's not being controlled. Left on range stance. Messy game. Problem for town now is that they've uh, met the cap limit, 10 out of 10, um, on squad cap. They can't keep up with the guardsman mass, the Imperial Guards army. But the problem is Mahalaj's economy hasn't solved this problem yet. Should repair the turret. And this is annoying as well that the fire warriors outrange the turret. Annoying for the IG. The fire warriors and the tower commander. Mahalaj takes this point from Master's side. Command squad should be able to deal with the creep. For now, once they're fully reinforced, they'll become a problem Where for the command squad. Mahalaj will decap this point. Vespids and Tau Commander just kill the tech priest. Now the turrets will go down. Three minutes Looks like Master uh, lost a stealth suit somewhere. He'll have to remake it to retake this point. Good try and uh, catch these guardsmen. Approach on this side with the fire warriors. Position the Vespids on this side. Use the sonic pulse to push the uh, guardsmen into the fire warriors. Guardsman can simply get inside the listening post. Strip cell cast on the uh, command squad, but the command, I mean, on the tower commander. Command squad's about to run out of uh, morale though. Yeah, without the morale, tower commander could quite comfortably fight them in melee. This is a dead command squad, even if it retreats now it's dead. Mahalaj knows this, it doesn't even bother retreating. Yeah, command squad's down. This is a Tau victory. He's about to he's only two minutes on taking hold. And Tau's now going tier two. Mahalaj can't afford to go tier two. His economy doesn't allow. Crew won't allow the guardsmen to decap this point, and Mahalaj somehow has to decap the other two as well. Oh, just the one. Okay. For some reason, uh, Master Yuba didn't take this point, or maybe he did and it was decapped earlier. Well, the fire warriors won't allow Mahalaj to decap this anyway. So Master Yuba wins. Mahalaj quits. That's very unfortunate with the uh, matchups. Um. Yeah, so this was the third game, right? Was this the third game? Yeah, it was. The first game was uh, Tower Mirror on Blood River. Okay, uh, so Master Yuba wins the best of three, uh, five with a score of 3 1. Feels bad. Feels bad for Mihalaj.